Welcome to sports, everybody. I'm Chris Saunders. Our men's national volleyball team came home from Curacao earlier this week, having qualified for the second round of the 2014 FIVB World Qualifiers. All the focus now is on getting ready for that next level, but it's going to take some cooperation. We had a goal set to win it and advance to the second round. We did that. Um, we didn't drop a game. We won all four of our games, which is, uh, you know, it's a statement that we made that, yeah, we're the favorites, and it's the reason why we're the favorites. Um, we're still fighting off that energy that we had um, winning the CVC championship, and we just carried that on and helped us become victorious. Stayed together as a team. We ran out there and we battled for each point. It wasn't, it's nothing, it wasn't given to us. We, we ran out and we took it. Even the fans that were watching it, like, wow, these guys are really good. Then we never showed that we were down. Even when things didn't go our way, even when the referees was calling against us, we never showed you, like, you know what, this is ours to win. When everybody played us, they stepped up their game. They tried to play it to our levels, and it was important for us not to play down to theirs, but to stay consistent and be victorious. There's no division in our team. Our team is, is just one big group that likes to hang together, have fun, play volleyball, and most of all, win. It shows that um, we are ch champions and that we are... No, it's just not a fluke that we won CBC and that you know we can go out there and play. Uh, we've been taking a uh, beating for a long time and now we're on top and this is where we want to stay. Moving on to some basketball news now. Just one game played in the New Providence Women's Basketball Association last night over at the DW Davis Gym. It was actually a makeup game on the court between the CLB Lady Caribs and the Johnson Lady Truckers. It was a close one early with the Truckers and Caribs tied 12 after one. Second quarter, both teams kept trading baskets. Heading into the half, the score was 22-19. Truckers with a slight lead there. At the third quarter, Truckers start to pull away 38-30. Down the stretch, though, it was all Truckers rolling to a 55-42 win. For the Truckers, a double-double night for Janice Williams and Latoya Roll. Williams had 13 points and 16 boards, and Roll had 16 points and 18 boards. I don't think we played the, the Truckers. How are we supposed to play? We play at the COB level, and I know we got to do better. We miss a lot of free throws, fast breaks, but I think we play a pretty good defense. We came on a little sloppy. We can't play against COB on day level, but I guess like this is like practice for us. So I guess when we play other big teams, we'll pick it up a little bit. The COB Lady Caribs are hanging in there early, but lack of experience is really costing them, and it cost them their second win of the season. I think what happened is fatigue settled in towards the end of the game and then we weren't able to keep up, but I felt like we had the game in the beginning. We was only down by one at one point. I felt, I, I felt like we can come out victorious tonight. We were slacking off on defense and we wasn't making our shots. We let them put the press on us and we just froze up. Disappointed by the law? Definitely, because it's a team we can beat. Talking basketball plans announced for the first annual Kalis Roll Christmas basketball camp and tournament. It's set for December 17th through the 29th at the Pinewood Gardens Park. Member of Parliament for the area, the Honorable Kalis Roll, wants all youngsters to jump at the opportunity as the first 100 res registered participants will receive not only a free basketball but also free shirts as well. Uh, this camp is focused on not only teaching the basic fundamentals of basketball but also character building and how to deal with pressure both on and off the courts. I encourage all of you to come out to participate and especially parents to support each night on the Pinewood Community Basketball Courts. And the camp would begin at 5.30 and will end at 8. And it will begin on December 17th. And for the entire duration of the two weeks, uh, we look forward to having lots of fun. We look forward to teaching um, young kids how basketball is played and how they can prepare themselves um, not only to play uh, basketball in school but potentially uh, college. At the end of the camp on December 29th there will be a night to remember as all of the campus will showcase the skills that they've learned during, the during an exhibition game which will be brought to you by the young men of Pinewood Gardens. Now talking about giving back, former NBA D-League player Mitch Johnson will be one of the many coaches offering their services to the camp. It's a wonderful opportunity to get to uh, give back to the community in, in any way that I could. I came up uh, just like some of these kids in Mr. Rogers' camp. Um, so it, it's a, for me, it's, um, it's a joy to give back and, and show them some of the things that I've learned over the years. Um, and um, I hope that uh, it's going to be as good as a success as I, I think it's going to be. 
and hopefully this is something that can continue on in, in, in the future. During the Christmas season, this is a time when kids are out of school, uh, um, they're idle, and we want to try and have as many activities as possible throughout the year. Um, as you know, we partnered during the summer with the Police Summer League, uh, where we provided sponsorship um, to ensure that those kids um, got an opportunity to do something positive. And we see this as um, just extending what it is we do um, year-round. Uh, whenever uh, there is an opportunity for kids to be idle, we want to fill that opportunity with something positive. From the basketball court to the tennis court, Shaquille Taylor is on a, definitely riding a high after finishing as the runner-up in the boys' 18 singles at the Goombay Splash Bowl. That was the junior tennis tournament last week. He came off an injury, and Shaq says he's happy with the way he's now playing. Movement's better. I had a injury last year in this tournament, lost first round. So to come here and make finals, you know, I'm extremely proud. I'm extra happy. Everything's going good, so... What's your plan now moving forward? Uh, my plan moving forward, I'm going to play. I have a goal for next year, is to make it into the Junior U.S. Open, if, even qualities if I can, just to get the experience, just to feel how it is, and hope and go to college after that next year, uh, 2014 January. Just go to college and do good, play some professional tournaments if I can. What do you think you have to put in between now and the U.S. Open to try and get inside there? Um, I just need to play my tournaments, select the right tournaments, do good in them, get a good, get a, get a solid ranking, uh, move up in the rankings, and you know everything will be solid. I'll be straightforward from there on. The Thomas Lawn Tennis Association, with a lot going on under the leadership of Deron Donaldson, they're now gearing up for their December Invitational. President Donaldson says he expects the competition to be stiff. All the players are welcome to play. It's free, and BTC is sponsoring, and it's supposed to be a big turnout. So. You're expecting all the better players, I guess? Yeah, Devin and Marvin, Timmy, we expect all Simone, Nikita, Larika, Carey, we expect all of them. And then, of course, our two finalists here, we, we hope for them to come and showcase their talent as well. Will these be Davis and Fed Cup qualifiers? Uh, no, we, we, Davis Cup is going to be in, say, June. So, I mean, everyone knows how tennis goes. You can be playing great tennis in December, and your game could, you know, drop by... May, June, so we're probably going to have a separate trials for that, but we'll use this as considerations of who we invite to that trials or that tryout at that time. A lot going on for tennis. That'll do it for sports, though. I'm Chris Saunders. Your final look at weather is still to come.